started the campaign like 20 something years ago, over a quarter century. And when we started, it was impossible. I mean, everybody, okay, my friends, my brother, I said, you know, I mean, you're really, you're really gonna put your energy in this? You know, let's go surfing. We all, we all just looked and just rolled our eyes back at, <laughs> like, come on, Fernando. Surfing will never make it. Most of in those rooms, I was laughing at for Fernando, going, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's like me telling you, I'm gonna, you know, swim around the world. 27 years later, he pulled it off. I've never actually dreamed of being an, uh, in the Olympic because surfing wasn't an uh, Olympic sport. I never thought surfing would be in the Olympic sport. Fernando is the, the reason why we're all there. He single-handedly had the vision and, uh, and pulled off the Olympics, which is a huge achievement. I really had no idea or no thought ever that it was going to be a part of surfing. For that to be able to come true in my lifetime, you know, during the peak of my career, is really something special. The Olympics wasn't ever a dream of mine because it wasn't a reality, it wasn't tangible until very recently. And to be able to win the gold medal uh, in surfing for the first time and bring it back home to Hawaii and just be like, I don't know, I, I hope it serves as like a small inspiration to people here that like anything is possible if you dream big and you work hard and you're passionate. The fact that our gold medal winners of Italo Ferreira and Carissa Moore had this opportunity to win a gold medal elevates them. That helps the Olympics, it helps the ISA, and it also helps us from the World Surf League because now we have gold medal winners participating in our sport. How many people in the world devote 10,000 hours of their life to something um, purely out of passion, purely out of the joy for it. He has given up a lot of his life for this. He picked uh, a long, hard path to get it done. What he's done to put surfing into the Olympics has been extraordinary. And, and he deserves all the credit for that. It's the biggest uh, event in the world, like, and to have surfing there is, is uh, it's a great thing for the future generations. I think just being one of the athletes and one of the people who have directly been able to benefit from his, his efforts of years of work of trying to get surfing into the Olympics, like I just want to say thank you and express how much I appreciate the opportunity that, you know, he didn't go out and do this for himself, but he did it for surfing and for the future generations.